Thank you for the kind introduction. The, 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 to be confirmed, obviously, is a bit of a handle to, uh, to wear, but uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, take you through a twin presentation. Becky's going to cover off the work that we're doing with Waitrose at the moment, and because I've got the grey hair, I'll uh, start off as to how we got into the position we are. Um, obviously, we... Um, Sorry, there was... Can we not hear at the back? Trying to... Is that better? We're away, okay. Well, when you work with a supermarket for a long time and they want you to do things, uh, they ask quite a lot of you, you become something nominally called a strategic partner. Actually, it's quite good to be a strategic partner because they do work with you and do listen to you quite a lot. Uh, we've been working with Waitrose particularly for the last 10 years, uh, but we came uh, to get this privileged position after a long history of farm to table. Our business was very much a traditional Somerset farmhouse cheese making business uh, and we were trying to get our cheese with its values that we thought were special into the supermarkets back in 1978. I know you probably can't believe I was involved in this project in 1978, but sadly I was, uh, 34 years ago. And we managed to get our farmhouse cheese into, into Waitrose in little sticks that we were making in our own dairy. We believe passionately in our farming and the way we farmed, uh, traditional Somerset uh, farming for those that haven't ventured down to that lovely part of the world, uh, involves a combination of making your cheese, the waste from the cheese, the whey, goes to feed pigs. The, the pigs produce a good quality muck. The muck goes back on the land. The land produces the grass. The grass feeds the cows. The cows produce the milk. And the whole thing is a, is, is a complete cycle. So even before you know, organic was such a dominant part of our business, those values of actually looking at your own nutrients, using your own ingredients, being as self-sufficient as you possibly could be were things that we held dear. And we could see the way this worked, we could see the cycle of the way that things worked, and our people were very much engaged with it. They were very close to their animals, very close to their land. Um, so as a whole business, we believed in it. And if anyone's got a product that they're going to take to the market, that's the most essential thing. Uh, if you don't passionately believe in your product and what you're doing, you've got a very difficult problem. You have to go there to the supermarkets, you have to go to the customer and the consumer, and you've really got to believe in your product yourself 110%, because it's a very competitive situation. Waitrose, we work with them for years, and they know sort of what they want, but they do rely on us to know our market really well and be working with the products to try and bring something special to their proposition. So our, our journey took us through farmhouse cheese. Um, our particular thing with Waitrose was the taste, the texture. We use a, a marvellous term in cheese making called natural flora. That means that the, the smells that you have around your cheese making dairy are particularly special to you. And it's true, it does produce a certain product. But as we grew with Waitrose, the cheese, the cheese took off and developed, uh, we tried to put a whole sustainable dairy package together with them. Um, and then we came, as we grew, we, we faced different challenges. Um, besides other things, the, the efficiency of big factories, the, the quality of their product. So all the time, we as a small farmhouse maker were trying to match that quality, trying to match that innovation. And as they were getting bigger and bigger, and as marketing and brands came and became much more influential, the traditional farmhouse cheese market started to become much more difficult. We were still making by hand, we were still had all the costs of hand making, and we were fighting against people that were using big branded products. If you look at the uh, dairy shelf now, you see how it's dominated by brands. Certainly 30 years ago when we were developing our business into the supermarket industry, it wasn't such a brand dominated business at all. It's a massive change and something that we learned uh, to deal with um, at our cost at times. 
so coming on from, from the cheese, we, sit, we realized we were working with Waitrose, we realized the cheese was not going to be uh, the total solution. We looked at other areas, we looked at dairy desserts with them. Uh, we developed a, a range of signature desserts which did particularly well and then come along that nasty thing called a brand again and, and all the values that were embraced within that product were to some extent misrepresented in a much cheaper format and another product, another innovation uh, fell by the wayside. But you must keep going with your products. You must, if organic is a fantastic base to work from, but we've got to be doing exciting things. We've got to be looking at different packaging all the time. We've got to be de developing the taste and the texture of our products. Because for all the values that we hold dear, the consumer and the retailer is looking for those points of difference. And the most challenging thing is communicating it. It is very difficult to communicate. And any, uh, any we, we try and use our farmers to work with us to try and give our stories to take to the supermarkets so that they can, can relay to the consumer to try and get everything we believe and we see every day into their minds when they're looking at our products. Because they're so disconnected from farming, it is frightening. It is a very difficult message to take. But as our business changed, uh, we were very reactive to what was going on, and we saw an opportunity within organic milk and moved out of cheese into organic milk. We lined up ourselves with one of the original um, organic milk purveyors, a gentleman called Will Best, who was foremost in the dairy industry in 1980. I'm proud to say worked with him right the way through his retirement and actually managed to take on his brand and still develop and still sell that into fine outlets in London. And in the event, there are other casualties along the way. I don't know if anyone came across Slumber Time Milk. That was another innovative product that was supposed to make everyone go to sleep at night. Um, great idea, but again, um, all these propositions, they have to have the value. They have to de value, deliver the value at the end of the day to be sustainable. And I think uh, the prospect of having a good night's sleep with a, with a, with a glass of milk didn't quite carry the, carry the can. So here we've, um, we've been along this journey. We've tried to develop our own uh, farming base. The values of our business were very much a people business, we're very much a product business. And what we were seeing as some of our uh, traditional business was growing, it was getting bigger and the disconnect was, was, was not suiting us. Organic really works for us as a business. Uh, the people that I explained to you that were very much involved with farmhouse cheese, very close to their products, very close to their cows. As soon as we saw the opportunity, as soon as we introduced organic to our business, uh, I found all my people were enjoying farming again because some of them had started to, enjoy, to lose some of the joy that they had of farming because of uh, the way farming was going, probably during the late 80s and early 90s. So it put our business back in line, back in line with the values that we hold so dear. But I've mentioned the brand uh, uh, problems that we've, uh, that we've had to deal with and still have to deal with within the way we go forward. And probably the communication of these values we all hold dear and the points of difference is the real challenge. Um, as I have been involved with 34 years, one of Becky's roles is to try and take this proposition in organic milk that we have established with Waitrose and try and get those values across to the consumer so it can continue to grow. So as Becky will come and uh, share some of the struggles that she has and some of the challenges she has in trying to keep the thing moving forward. Becky?